In this video, we are going to dive into Svelte by getting started with a new project. We're also going to talk a little bit about what it means to get started with this project. So let's get going on that right now. Okay, so to get started here, we're going to first want to install Svelte as a new project. Now you might be used to things in the past as like Create React App where we can do with just a Create React App and get an app up and running. Now Svelte doesn't necessarily, uh, I guess it doesn't necessarily like to um, keep you contained in that box, so to say, out, out of the get go. And it does make getting started not necessarily as smooth as Create React App. Uh, there isn't just Create Svelte App or something. There might be, but not within Svelte itself. That said, it is extremely easy, especially now that we have NPX. Now, if you don't know, NPX is an NPM command that allows you to run a package command without having it installed. Therefore, we don't have to install the uh, application that we use to create a new Svelte app. To check to make sure that you have NPX, uh, we can do NPM v and I'm on 6.10, I have it. I don't, to be honest, I don't know what version it came in, but as long as you have something around here, you'll wanna make sure that you do have Node.js installed. If you don't, this course is going to assume that you have a little bit of command line skills. It's also going to assume that you have Node installed because like I said here, we're gonna be using NPM to install some things. Now, if you've done any sort of modern framework development, this is going to feel right at home. If you haven't, go ahead and just consult a basic video. Uh, you're also gonna wanna make sure you have your standard terminal commands down, just changing directories, that sort of thing. That said, we're not going to be doing anything too hardcore, but we are gonna be using something called uh, I believe it's pronounced digit. I haven't heard anybody say this out loud before. Sometimes it's a thing. It's D-E-G-I-T, uh, digit, digit, digit. I don't know, one of those, okay? Uh, so the way we want to get going is we can do N-P-X, and then we're going to use digit or digit, whatever it is. Maybe it's digit. And we're going to then pass in the svelte JS forward slash template. Now this is what this is doing is it's basically saying, hey, go get the Svelte template, which actually lives on GitHub. You can go check it out. Uh, go get the Svelte JS template. And this is for creating a Svelte project. Now the next property here is going to be the name of this project. Now we're gonna be making a quiz in this tutorial series. So we can just call this level up hyphen quiz. If you want, you can give it any sort of name. Uh, just keep in mind it's lowercase hyphenated, no spaces, hit enter. And this should go ahead and create a new Svelte project for you. So again, it's not just NPX create React app. We have to do this dig it, digit Svelte JS thing. No worries there. Uh, but we have our new project. We should be able to change directories with CD into level up quiz. And from here, we can run npm install to install all of the packages we need to get this thing up and running. Fairly standard fare if you've done any sort of NPM work. And lastly, we need to run npm run dev. And this is going to fire us up a new application. One of the things I love about Svelte is that it fires it up at localhost port 5000. Just about every other build tool I have in build process fires up something at port 3000. And uh, 5000 is a welcome change because it means I most likely won't be running anything at 5000 when I start this up. So you can see here, we do have a basic hello world and we have some HTML and H1 with his felt class. And if we examine this, you'll see that we just have some standard HTML that's loading up a global CSS, a bundle CSS and the bundle.js. That's pretty much it here. If we click into this, you can see we have a little bit of live reload stuff going, which means we have some really lightning fast live reload when we're coding here. We also just get some basic functions. That, notice how none of this stuff is, well, it's technically, it is Svelte, but uh, all of this stuff is not the platform itself, and so to say, but it's the code that we need to get a basic Svelte app running. Now, if this seems like a lot of JavaScript to uh, just have a hello world, I totally get that. But at the end of the day, the amount of stuff we're going to be able to do with the amount of JavaScript that's output is going to be well, well worth it. So uh, don't look at that and immediately think this thing's gonna ship a ton of JavaScript. It's not, in fact, it's gonna ship very little JavaScript and we're gonna get some code splitting and bundling and stuff like that going too. Okay, so this is our very basic hello world running on port 
5,000 and we now have a Svelte app up and running. If you want to, you can also do this several other ways, but this one is the one that I prefer and it gets you going really quickly with something called Rollup. Now, if you aren't familiar, Rollup is a build tool created by, I believe the creator of Svelte, Rich Harris, and this uh, build tool complements Svelte very well. Now, if you really, really, really love Webpack, which I, I personally don't, uh, then you can obviously get this going with a Webpack as well, or you can get this going with Parcel. Parcel's really great. However, that said, we're going to be using Rollup for this course because it's the one that Svelte comes with by default, and it's just really nice. You'll, I think you'll like it. Okay, so check it out. Here's our basic hello world. And just like that, we have our app up and running. I did say that it wasn't going to be as easy as Create React App. Well, it wasn't. It was uh, digit or digit, spelled JS forward slash template, but <laughs> it's not that much more difficult. And as you can see here, with that all going, we have a live reload enabled, a public bundle JS, and our bundles are going to be building for us automatically. And in the next video, we're gonna to start to write some code and dive into what comes with Svelte. And we're gonna talk a little bit about Svelte itself. So this is one of the reasons why I love modern application development. We didn't have to do anything to get this thing going. And sure enough, it's just saying hello world, but just wait until you see what it's going to be capable of, okay? So thank you so much for watching. And we'll see you in the next one as we dive into the code that comes with our initial template that we've created.